Mind answering the question? What's your question, sir? Why do y'all have him sitting on the ground like a dog? You're interfering with our investigation. No, I asked you if I could ask you a question. If I was you, I'd stop talking to him. Everything you say can be used against you. Nothing you say gonna help you. It's a shame you sit on the ground like a dog. People spit on the ground and you sitting on the ground because you're afraid to stand up like a man. I got a question for y'all. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. This one is coming to us from BCS Transparency and was suggested to me by San Joaquin Valley Transparency. This dude is freaking awesome, and he doesn't have a problem speaking his mind and educating people on the spot. I really think you're going to want to subscribe and let him know that DirectD sent you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Mind answering the question? What's your question, sir? What's your name and badge number? Officer Milligan, 1145. What's your name and badge number? Chance, 1279. All right. Why do y'all have him sitting on the ground like a dog? He's not sitting on the ground like a dog. He's chilling. Did he volunteer to sit on the ground or did y'all make him sit on the ground? You told him to sit on the ground. Is there a law that says he has to sit on the ground? Nobody's detained right now. Get up off the ground, man. No, I asked you if I could ask you a question. You me Interference me. is a physical thing. You asked me if you could ask Interference me. is physical. Okay, sir. By now we're, we're doing an yes, and I asked you if I could ask you a question. You said he's not detained. He is detained. Well, why did you say he wasn't? I did not say that. I said he you wasn't just said he wasn't detained. No, I said he was detained. Okay, well, if he is detained, I can still speak. Okay, but I'm not going to have you speak to him and interfere with our investigation. I can speak to him and he can speak to me. I can, but I can also stand here. We're still conducting our investigation. Well, I'm asking you a question. Why is he sitting on the ground? He don't have to sit on the ground. There's no law that says he has to sit on the ground. You are violating his rights right now. Yes, you are. I'm just letting you know. You don't have to sit on the ground like no dog, man. Well, I'm going to sit here and watch, bro. You're not all right. They're violating your rights, and you're afraid to stand up for yourself. Searching your car. If I was you, I'd stop talking to him. Everything you say can be used against you. Nothing you say going to help you. Invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. I'm not, I'm not questioning him, sir. And ask him to get out your car, man. If you gave him consent, withdraw it. It's a shame you sit on the ground like a dog. People spit on the ground. Dogs come through and piss and shit on the ground. And you sitting on the ground because you're afraid to stand up like a man. Yes, I am. Because they just might decide to kick your ass out here. If they do, I'm going to have a record of it. If they do, I'm going to have a record of it. I hate to see that. And you talking to them like they're your friends. And you're upset with me. And I got your back. They're not your friends. They looking to put you in jail, confiscate your car right before Christmas. And right now, they're just waiting to see if they can arrest you. Learn your rights and stand on them. And stop sitting on the ground like a dog.
Oh, you good, you good. Let me holler at you, bro. Let me holler at you, man. You ain't got to say nothing. I just want to tell you something. They are not your friends, man. I, just listen to me. They just had you sitting on the ground like a damn dog. Now, if they respected you and your rights, if she did call them and say that she was afraid, she didn't know what she was doing out here, they could have came and contacted you and said, how you doing, young man? My name is Officer So-and-so. My badge number is So-and-so. And I got a call that the woman in here thought you were suspicious. And we just want to see what's going on. They wouldn't have made you okay. sit on the damn okay. ground okay. like a dog. I man. understand. Now, can I tell you something? Yeah. I actually was here to help a young lady. Mm -hmm. I knew they were coming. Okay. I wasn't worried at all. I didn't do anything. But she, wait, you, wait, you wait, know she called. I'm just going to ask you a question. Yeah. You know she called, though. I'm the one who told her to call. And then they put you on the ground and search your car? I'm fine with that. I was here doing something right. I wasn't doing nothing wrong. But guess what? I had no problem with them searching me. You know guess what? what? Wait, wait, wait. You know why I had no problem with them searching me? Go ahead. Because I knew I didn't do nothing wrong and I knew I wasn't doing anything wrong. Okay. Now, it's the thing that I like to sometimes you got to think for yourself. Right. Why go out in the streets doing something wrong if you know you dirty or anything like that? Okay. I knew I wasn't. Yeah. I came to help a young lady. Good. I'm the one who told her to call the police. Right. And I told her, I'm going to sit here with you until the police. Already. Go. I knew something that I had done was not right. I knew when they came to question me because I knew their word. That's why I didn't even drive off. I knew that they were going to smell what I had chosen to do. So for him to ask me to sit on the ground and he was being polite with me instead of yanking me about the car, I had no problem with it. Okay. I knew he was going to question me. I knew they were going to run my name. I knew I was going to be sitting there for a while. I've been through the procedure before. I had no problem with that. You know why? Because I know now I don't do the stuff that I used to do and I think before I come out of the house. I may slip up sometimes, but hey, that's the consequences that I got to face for that. Once again, though, I knew what they were going to do. I had no problem with it. That's why I was perfectly fine with sitting on the ground. Nothing went crazy. You threw? Nothing jumped off. You there threw? Nothing to put on YouTube and know the police brutality or they made this man. They didn't make me. I sat down. I know my rights. I knew when he asked me to sit down on the ground, I knew I didn't have to. I had no problem with it, though. Just go ahead and get this over with so we can go about our way. We both here for the same thing. To help this young lady in the store out. That's it. Okay. All of this here, it's not necessary. Okay, let me let me share something with you. I just heard you out. Hear me out. You just made it bad for the next man that don't know his rights. You know what? Oh, listen to me. I just heard you out. He need to learn his rights. Listen. You can't come out here expecting to do this and do let that. Let me explain you something to you. You sure know, can. You sure can. But I want you to know something. You just made it bad for the next man. Because when you sit on the ground, mm -hmm. that makes them feel like it's all right to make the, make the next person sit on the ground. No, it's not. Let me explain something all to he, you. All he has to do they, is like, see, if the people that you are recording this for, if they were really paying attention, they would have heard me say, I know my rights. I know I did not have to. You know your rights. I chose to. And you chose exactly. to let them search your car. Exactly. Not knowing. If this is a dirty ass cop wanting to plant a gun, wanting to plant drugs in your car, right. you don't know that. 
But they both were here for the same I don't care thing. what they here for. You don't know if he dirt. You don't know this man. You don't care except for nothing about that right there and what could have been. You don't know that man. It didn't happen, though. <laughs> That's over you don't know that man. He laughing. Doing something pr he keep in and he cock kind. I'm doing something very productive. This is productive. I'm educating those who watch him. But I want you to know something. You just made it have bad night, for the next man. Statement is so true, it's not even funny. If everybody stood up and stood on their rights, none of this crap would ever happen to anybody. If you do decide to go subscribe, be sure to let him know that Direct D sent you and leave him a comment and encourage him to go out and film more. We want to see more of this. And you don't know if he's dirty or not. Next time, don't volunteer to let him violate your rights. If you know him, stand up for him. He the one told her to call the cops and they come and make him sit on the ground, search his car, run his ID and the people that was called on are long gone. Now, what do you think about that? He got to be the biggest fool since the white mouth mule.